Two Beautiful People. My name is Angela, and I'm from British Columbia, Canada. You're watching Trucker Josh and the Diesel Visa. Farmer Brit here in the kitchen. Yep. Sporting her overalls. Nice. She's got to go to work right away, and I've got to get a bunch more work done here. How'd you like your eggs? They're I mean, wonderful. Perfectly were they? cooked. Usually I burn the or ruin the first couple of eggs that I do. So. Turned out pretty good. How about you? How'd you like your breakfast? Chef Dad in the house. No? Hello, Chevy. Did you know you're an upside down Chevy? Are you walking on the roof right now? What you doing on the roof? On the roof. That's better. That's better. See? It was scary, wasn't it? Super scary. So the house is a mess. We are taking this to the shop for storage. I've got to fold some laundry there. Uh. Uh, there's a lot to do. We're continuing the work from yesterday, trying to move more stuff from here into the shop for storage. I don't want it to get too full there. Uh, I don't want it to be crowded and cramped, and I want it to, to look good and to have, like, space to move around, and I gotta do the dishes, too. Brit's at work, and I'm here all by myself, and there's so much to do. But I can do it. Yeah, so we're gonna do the dishes? So that those are done by the time she gets home, because I told her I'd do them. Fold some laundry, I gotta shave this. I've gotta shave this to shower. All right. And all that laundry, that's her laundry. I'm not talking, no, that's her, she can do I don't know, that I don't gotta worry about. <laughs> Excuse me. And then after that, then we'll take more stuff from the carport to the shop, and then I've gotta wash the semi, get it ready for tomorrow, because we gotta go back trucking tomorrow, we have to start with a clean truck. Don't wanna start with yesterday's dirt. And we can gather enough dirt tomorrow for uh, tomorrow. We don't wanna start with yesterday's dirt. Frank, you dead? Why are your legs like that? <laughs> are you trying to be a wiener dog? Are you trying to be like wiener? <laughs> what are you doing? Where are your legs? Where are you, you sucking them in like a turtle? You okay, buddy? Are you a turtle? He's fine. He's just really comfy. Wiener, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? You surviving without your mother here? Just barely, yes. It's very difficult. I've had many episodes of stress and anxieties. She should be home soon, yeah? She'll be home later. It's nice, nice to meet you. Don't shake my hand. We are not friends. No? We're not friends? Okay, we can be friends for now. Thank you. I gotta make a list. What should I do first? Okay, dishes first, right? Get those out of the way. And shave, shave, and shower. Oh, but then I'm gonna get all dirty again while I'm moving stuff out to the shop. But I wanna shave because I've been putting this off for way too long. Look how long my hair is right now. See that? It's supposed to be bald. Okay, we'll put away the clean dishes. We'll wash the dirty ones. Shave. It will wait till later to shower. I just don't, I, I like showering right after I shave my head and my beard because hair gets all over me, right? And then I get all itchy. I'm gonna have to shower twice today then. I'm gonna shower again later. This is so overwhelming. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I can handle this. I can handle this. I'm a grown man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. We don't have a dishwasher, eh? 
This is the dishwasher. Well, sometimes. Sometimes. I try. Try. Where does this one go? This one goes up here, right? I don't know where everything goes. How am I supposed to keep up with this? I have lots of other things to remember. Hey, what's this? <laughs> That's a rubber straw. I forgot we had these things. Holes would be fun to whip people with. Yeah, it's clean. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we put cups upside down or do we not? Uh, I don't know. Cups right side up. I always thought that we put cups upside down so that dust doesn't get in them, right? Well, they're sitting in there, but then how is dust going to get in there? If there's dust in there, isn't that something wrong? Oh, you put the... Oh, a spoon! Very nice, very nice. We are advanced in this household. We use cutlery. I know, I know. Shocking. Here's a tub uke. Or a dish rag, or uh, whatever you call this thingy. <laughs> Just gonna put this up here for now. Fill this sink up with fresh water. We're gonna get her done like a man. Manly dishes, manly dishwashing going on here. So in other words, uh, they're probably gonna have to be washed again. <laughs> but we're gonna wash them. Can't say I didn't try. Okay, we'll plug this up there. Okay, use some of this stuff. Dawn, the quicker picker upper. That's not Dawn at all, is it? That's Swiffer. And put some of that in there. Right? Is that too much? What do I know? I don't care. Hot water. Bubble me up, buddy. Come on. Show me the bubbles. Why is it not getting hot? Ow! It's hot. Yep, that's hot. Let's turn that down. There you go. Ah, that's nice. My hands are cold. That's really nice. Oh yeah, wonderful. In the meantime, uh, while we're doing those other dishes, we're gonna soak this pan, put a little bit of that stuff in there. Soak this pan a little bit. There you go. Because I made eggs this morning, did you see? Did you see? I did that, I made eggs. It actually turned out pretty good, to be honest. I was actually pretty proud of myself. la di da I don't know what it is. Whenever I try to do eggs over easy, the first two I always botch or I always like mess them up. But this time I got them right on the first try. That's right. Is that enough water? I think it's enough water. All right, here we go. Here we go. Wash some dishes. Washing dishes. On the vlog for evidence. Trevor Josh washed the dishes. If anybody tries to claim that I didn't, it's on YouTube. I'm not guaranteeing no one's gonna have to wash them again, but I did wash them. There, oh, whoa! Water's attacking me, it's violent. No violence in this house. I'll clean up my man mess here, a little bit. <laughs> Boom! Done. One task is done, let's celebrate. I don't know, you're all the way at the back, my pretty. Old duels near beer. Uh, de-alcoholized beer. It's like a, it's a good midday beer. Oh. Yes, and I can continue to do all my tasks all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. What's next? Let's do this. I'm sorry, Diesel, did I scare you when I threw my hat? Don't worry. It's all good. It's all good. Thanks for checking. There's a door there, if you're wondering. Okay. Shaving. Now, what I use, if you're interested, because I'm assuming you just want to know, what kind of shaver does he use? I wonder. I can't wait. I use a bunch. This is for my beard. It's a Remington. This is for my head. It's a, uh, it's a black one. And first, I gotta cut it short with that, right? And then I use a, a Timo thingamajig like this to get it right down to the skin. It's a very complicated process. Professionals only. Okay, first of all, we gotta get this out of here. And what I do is I just cut my hair and my beard right here in the bathroom, and it just all falls to the floor. And then I vacuum her up. I'm a barber. Barber Josh. What should I do first? My head? Here we go. 
Don't try this at home, kids. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the stuff. Beautiful. So now we go like this. I always start with the top because it's there's hardly any hair there anyway, so it makes you feel like you're getting stuff done really quick. And there you go. Perfect. Did I miss anything? Break out the chainsaw. Okay, good, good. Should be good. My entire beard grows from this side to this side, so I go like whoop that to cut it. Really weird. But it suits me because I'm a weird guy. So I have a weird beard growth pattern. I don't know why I hold my hand here. Just in case to hold my head on in case my head falls off I guess. I don't know, it feels right. One more step. There you are. Ah! Okay. Bad boy. Is there any guys aren't even looking at me? Come here. Pay attention. Hey. There we go. All right, here we go. Hey, right, just do this over your whole head and it right down to the bone. Doesn't hurt at all. Works really well, but you gotta cut it short first, like I did. Because if you try to do this when it's still like longer, like it was before, uh, this thing will hurt. Just about done. I gotta be careful when I do this section here. That I don't get my eyebrows as well, you know? You don't want to shave your eyebrows. You gotta get it all, though, get behind the ears. And I always go over my head with my hand just to see if I can feel any pricklies. And wherever I feel pricklies, I just fall over this thing. Nice, right? I like it. Wonderful. That's where it is all the fine hairs of the beard and all the clumps are the head hair. <laughs> Now, all of you husbands, listen up. You understand me when I say every single hair has to be gone from this bathroom before the wife gets home. I have a question for you. How do we do that? Do you know? Because I can clean this bathroom after I'm finished in here, top to bottom. She's going to come home later. I can cover my head and stuff so she doesn't know that I shaved. Even if I wasn't home. She'll come in here and the first thing she'll say is, you got hair everywhere, you shaved, didn't you? Tell me I'm lying. So husbands, what's the secret? How do we get rid of the hair? I don't know how, I try my best. I can climb upside down on this ceiling and clean every single corner and crevice. She'll still find hair. Does anybody know? Well, we got quite a bit done. Toolbox here, air compressor, all my tools that were in the shed. I even uh, mowed the front yard and then I brought this here because I gotta do some work on this. I shouldn't do that. I'm gonna wash it too, clean it up. Left it right there by the bull snot, of course. All my extra stuff. These are some rims that I had on my, uh, I had an 07 Honda Civic when I was younger and cooler. And it had these Koenig rims on it. I'll have to show it to you uh, another time. These are just old license plates. 
Got the snow blower here, chainsaw. So I think it's all fitting in here pretty well, eh? Got my quad, this is the quad I was telling you about before. It's a Polaris Predator uh, 2005, I believe. It's got a pretty much a rebuilt engine, but it needs some work. The rims in the front are bent up. I bought it like that. Tires have leaks. The chain guard broke off here. So you have to be very careful that your shoelaces don't get caught in there. That could uh, cause you a world of pain right away. Uh, this is the treadmill. I put it in here. I gotta wash that cover yet, but I figured uh, didn't look right to have the motorcycle, the quad, and a treadmill, but I have nowhere else to put it, so I covered it up. <laughs> that way it looks like I have something cool under there. I think we're officially fully moved in. The only thing that's missing is the W9, and that'll come uh, hopefully in a week. Hopefully less than that. I'm getting antsy. I want my hands on it, but you know, you gotta wait for a the whole process to go through the way it's supposed to. Gotta be patient, right Josh? Patience. That's what I tell Diesel and Chevy all the time. Patience. I'm not very good at it all the time, especially when I'm waiting. Waiting and waiting. I'll be fine. Yeah, it's still lots of room in here, eh? Still lots of room to work. And I don't think, it looks a little cluttered now. I can do a little bit to clean this area up here, like the hoses in there that up the hose for the pressure washer I just tucked it behind there for now it looks really messy I'll clean that up, but there's still lots of room to work on the truck I'm happy with it and I didn't have time to wash the truck because <laughs> I gotta head home right away it's already almost like six o'clock and Brick gets off at 5 30 so no time to wash the truck today. that's gonna really bug me in the morning maybe I'll have time in the morning I doubt it but whatever I'll wash it tomorrow after work then. All right guys, moment of truth. How was the bathroom? I'll inspect. We're doing pretty good because she didn't come well, to I, me I, first. I, already, I knew already because there was a puddle of water and I saw a few. She, Not too bad. Better than usual. There you go, we're getting better. I shaved my head before and I was asking the husbands how they get rid of all the hair, because it's impossible. The wives always know. And it's every single time I'm just finished cleaning the bathroom. Every single week. I told them. Yeah. Every time. But look, did I miss anything? Can you see anything over there? Pretty good. 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 See, Diesel, we did all right. Thanks for your help. We're out for a scoot. Scoot and a boot. How's it going back there, Britt? She makes fun of me all the time because I've got a bell. Oh, this is a pretty cool little trail we found here. This is in Deerfield uh, on the east side of Steinbeck. It's a newer neighborhood. There's nice biking trails here. I really like my bike. It's comfortable. It's a nice cruiser. I didn't need anything fancy, and I'm not a I'm not a mountain biker. So I don't need to be able to go up mountains. I live on the prairies. I just want to put around. Go down the trails. Like this. this reminds me a lot of camping at St. Malo. With all their trails, their bike trails and stuff. This is pretty cool. Our neighborhood doesn't have any fancy trails like this. Just saying. It'd be a nice path to walk the dogs down if it wasn't so far. Maybe if I uh, start walking this year again, by the end of summer I can make it this far. It's not that far. Beautiful homes. Yeah, that is nice. Nice summer. 
we want to build a sunroom onto the front of our house too. Oh, and when we build, we'll absolutely build one right off the bat. Right now, we're uh, waiting to see if the town will give us a permit to build onto the front. Wouldn't be for a while. Yeah, it wouldn't be for a while. So we keep saying with everything. We have lots of plans, and everyone's like, "Oh, you guys must have won the lottery." No, no, we're spreading things out. <laughs> Just big dreamers. I wish we could afford to do them all at once. That's not how life goes. Well, we go for a bike ride, and now it's time to go for a walk, right? We got poop bags. Oh shoot! We're out of poop bags. I'll just get grocery bags. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, boys. Hold on. Can you sit? Good boys. Sweet. It's so nice that they paved this now. I remember running, like I told you, was it yesterday or the day before, when I had to track and field here as a kid. It was gravel. If you slipped and fell. Then again, Diesel. Hey, hey, buddy, come here. Then again, if you if you uh, slip and fall on this, I guess you get just as hurt. You just don't get gravel in your skin. But there's more traction on the pavement, though. Whenever you'd start running here, you'd always like, sit here spinning in the gravel. I remember that. Where do you all go? Why do you smell like grass and flyers? We went on a walk without you, Frank. Oh boy, I'm actually pretty tired. That was a good bike ride, a good walk. Uh, here we go. Oh! Chevy, was that fun or what? Is that fun? I had a pretty good weekend. I've got a lot done and a lot of fun. Tomorrow we are back to work. Back to trucking. Thanks for watching today, everybody. See you tomorrow from the truck.